welcome back to Our Family Beat. My name is Brigitte. Today, I went to Costco with Brielle and we are doing a frugal Costco haul because we're trying to make some changes and we're trying to make some health changes. And hey, if this is the second or third time you're seeing my face and you like these types of videos, maybe it's the internet trying to tell you that you should subscribe down below. If while you're watching this, you like what you see and you like grocery hauls in general, then make sure you hit the like button. It's actually a really great way to help support our channel and helps the YouTube algorithm to promote it to other people who might like grocery hauls too. So let me show you our super frugal Costco haul. All right guys, here is our haul. We usually start over here with meat and dairy and then we move to produce and vegetables and more processed stuff here at the end. And I also have a couple of non-grocery items. So in our budgeting software, we have YNAB, which means you need a budget. And we have separate categories for non-grocery items and it's just the way that we like to do it so that we can keep track of everything. So that is stuff not in groceries, but all of this is groceries. So let's start over here in the way back. We've got some Greek yogurt here, but actually I'm mostly using this as a starter because I want to make my own instant pot yogurt. And I have a recipe that I really want to try. So I'll film that for you guys. It'll kind of be like my first time doing it video that you can see. So I won't have any prior knowledge to this video and it is not a perfected thing, but I will link, you know, the site that I use in that video in the description box so you can see, but we're going to try to make our own. So I have yogurt that I need as the starter and also milk. I'm going to use a whole half gallon. So there's three half gallons in each of these and that's what I'm going to use. Plus we use milk to drink in the house. We also have some cream. We have one, two heavy whipping creams and we use these in our homemade cold brew, which is awesome. I will leave that link in the description box below and up here in the cards, but it's the best recipe ever in my opinion. And we make two gallons a week and we drink that and it's so much cheaper that way than buying your own at the store. So it saves us a lot of money. I mean, we're talking frugal haul here. So we're gonna make our own yogurt, which is frugal and it's gonna be organic, so it's definitely gonna be cheaper than buying organic yogurt at the store. And we make our own cold brew, which is another way that we try to save money because that is much cheaper. So I got this, which we've never got there. It's sweetened condensed milk, but this is for the homemade yogurt. I'm gonna do a can of this with that and that and put it in the Instant Pot. Generally, we like to try to do it unflavored and not sweet at all, but I wanna do like a vanilla one. And so we're gonna use this so it won't be that much sugar. The recipe seems like it's only like slightly sweet, so we're gonna try that. Also back here we got some eggs because eggs are definitely a frugal way to get protein into your diet. And so I like to eat eggs every single morning with sausage. So our eggs do not go bad in the fridge and we never have a problem with that. So I think I have half of one of these, which is about 30 eggs in the fridge, but we're gonna be incorporating eggs into our meal plan this week for a lot of things, so we got extra. I'm popping in here to say that this video is sponsored by us. We started this channel a year and a half ago and we're building it from the ground up. We love community and we love connecting with you guys and we're trying to make something of this. If you like what we're doing, consider supporting us over on Patreon or YouTube channel membership or just check out our merch. We have a ton of stuff on our website, which is ourfamilybee.com. We have shirts and sweatshirts and uh, some other stuff like coffee mugs, but we also make our own DIY lip balm kits. We are getting great reviews from you guys who have bought them and I love using them. I've been using this recipe for years and years and it is my absolute favorite. So if you like what we're doing and you like what we're about, consider one of those things. The links will be down in the description box below. All right, let's get back to the haul. I got some chicken thighs, which are cheaper than chicken breasts. And we're gonna do some sticky chicken teriyaki things or garlic, but also this is good in the Instant Pot if you mix it with cream cheese after you've cooked it and you shred it. And it's really good to put on like tacos or burrito bowls or rice bowls or anything like that. So chicken thighs are actually, I feel like a little healthier for you, even though they're fattier, that fat is a good kind of fat. So we got chicken thighs and this is six little packets. and so. So I'll probably keep them all in the freezer and then just take out, you know, the one that I need for the meal. Also got some ground beef because we're going to be doing some Mexican things and we got some uh, quesadilla things. So some ground beef for this week and you know, I'll divide this up probably into like three things for the freezer. This is six pounds, so I'll probably do one or two pounds each and just divide it up that way. Moving on to vegetables, we've got some frozen broccoli here. This is the organic kind. It comes with four different steamable bags, which is super convenient and easy. I feel like it's just a good thing to have in the freezer when we need some vegetables. 
Also got some of this romaine lettuce because I like to chop up and make my own salad kits for work. It's just an easy way to get vegetables and I top it with basically whatever I have. So I have already some shredded carrots and cucumbers and just onions and I can do cheese and some hard boiled eggs. So we use that for protein and I just, I love eating salad. And so we have a couple different dressings. So I'm gonna actually mix this romaine with this spinach and whatever doesn't get eaten of this spinach, I'm going to put in a bag in the freezer to use for smoothies because that is a good way to get greens and other things like carrots and stuff into the kids is just making a big smoothie. And then we all have some and we use our Vitamix for that, which we have a code down below where you can um, use that link to go check out the deals that they're having over on the Vitamix site. And we love ours. We have a couple of videos about that that I can also link below. Best investment ever. I know it can be a lot of money up front, but we have not regretted it one bit. So it makes the smoothest smoothies, not gritty at all. Whatever we don't use fresh, we're going to freeze and that way it doesn't go to waste because being frugal means that you try to practice zero waste. So nothing goes to waste. We try to use everything. So got that. Also got some fruit. I really wanted the cotton candy grapes, but they did not have them this time. Me and my neighbor were both talking about it and she went and they didn't have it, you know, and I had went like the day before and they had them and I had gotten them. But I got these grapes because grapes last a while in our fridge. So that's a good fruit to have for the kids. Also blueberries. Kids love the blueberries. So we try to have that on yogurt. And since we're making our own homemade yogurt with that stuff, I decided to get some more of those. And plus they have those with lunches. You know, I'll mix a different, a couple different like fresh fruits. And then also if we run out of fresh fruits, then I'll use canned fruit and blueberries are just good to have. And they are full of antioxidants, which is great. So uh, we got some bananas too. These are a little bit green, so they'll ripen like a day or two and then be perfect. So whatever we don't use for those, I throw in the freezer. I have a pretty big freezer stash of bananas. And so got to try to make banana bread one day um, because that's a good way to use frozen bananas. You can also throw them in smoothies. So they don't really go to waste. And we got this for fruit. Um, since the kids are gone and at daycare or school, pouches are just easy. They are not super frugal when you're talking about like this versus uh, a big thing of applesauce, which we also have. But for the stage of life we are in, these are super convenient. And this one was actually on sale. So I got the Go Go Squeeze variety pack. And then also this was a pretty good price. I feel like it does fluctuate, but uh, it's just the Kirkland organic applesauce. And so I got one of those. Um, this will go in the pantry. We have two of these open at a time in a big bin and that's how we store it and take it from to pack in their lunches. So these are going to go in the pantry for when that is empty. And moving on to things that they get in their school lunches is the pirate booty. And I have done in the past like a cost comparison between getting the big bag of pirate booty and then putting it in my own Ziploc bags. And it really isn't that big of a difference when you factor in the cost of the bags, buying them and the time it's gonna take you. And I feel like because these are already pre-packaged, these stay fresher longer because, you know, once you open the big bag, even though you're putting it in smaller bags, it just, it, I feel like it doesn't stay fresh as long. So we get, a box of these pretty much every time we go to Costco. When they're on sale, we get two. Uh, both the kids eat them. Uh, this is just an easy snack to do. We got some of these cheese pizzas because every Friday night is pizza night. And so this is much cheaper than ordering pizza. So we can still have you know, fun foods and things that the kids will like and think is special and it won't break the bank. So we got these, there's four in here. And I mean, you can always doctor these up. You can add your own toppings. I mean, they have a pepperoni, which is the one I prefer, but the kids prefer just plain cheese pizza. So I do add some like spices, you know, a little more salt, garlic powder. You can add Italian, you know, seasoning like oregano, basil, whatever. And then if you're eating it, then you can just add your own like extra onions or pepperoni or meat or cheese, whatever, extra cheese. So. These are just a great base, and so I got one of those. Also got some bread here, which we've already broken into for lunch today. And so I'm gonna make my own Uncrustables. I've been doing that for a couple of weeks now, and the kids have been loving it, so I just make a whole bunch at one time, put them in the freezer, and that way this is cheaper than buying the Uncrustables. So I would prefer that they eat all of the bread and the crust, but right now they are really digging those and that's fine with me. So it's cheaper to do it this way and make our own. And I feel like a little bit healthier than buying them. So 
we're gonna do that this week and then just throw a bunch in the freezer. And we got some of this uh, Carb Balance Mission tortillas. These have been great for me and Brandon if we want to have something like a little roll up or cheese or quesadilla or something like that. So I got another pack of those because we got these last time we were at Costco and they're almost gone. So that was a good buy and they taste great. I mean, really you can't even tell they're carb balance. And they have, let me look here for you. So it's 19 minus the 15 grams for fiber. So four net carbs for one. So, I mean, that's what that is. And as far as non-grocery items, oh no, my battery's gonna die. Okay, I'm back with a new battery. So non-groceries, we have vinegar, which you may say, but you can eat that, that should be groceries. And yes, you can, but we more often use this for cleaner or fabric softener. So I don't really count it in our groceries. Although if we need it, obviously we can take a little bit out of it, but that's not our primary reason for buying it. And the diapers, Brielle's in a size four. She's a itty bitty little thing. I mean, I guess we could technically move her up to a size five, but uh, the lower the size, the cheaper it is per diaper. So. I would rather keep her in this. She does need to be potty trained soon, but I'm just not there yet. So we got some more diapers. So that is the haul, everyone. Here is the total. What did you buy at the grocery store this week that you are gonna be meal prepping? Let me know in the comments down below because I'm always looking for ideas and I know a lot of other people are too. If you're new around here and you aren't part of our Discord chat, which is basically like a big text messaging system, then head on over to ourfamilybee.com. You can sign up for our newsletter and then you'll get a link to join us over on Discord. We love getting to know you guys and we love building this community. So until we meet again, don't forget, life is better together. <laughs>